Hello statisticians, this video on 3.2 measures of spread is going to look at some Excel commands we can use to find various measures of spread. For measures of spread, it's important as we look at standard deviation and variance that we differentiate if we're talking about a population, all the things in consideration, or a sample, a small group out of the population. It makes a big difference. If we're working with a population, we're going to always put the dot p at the end of our command. If we're working with a sample, we're going to put the dot s at the end of our command. So this first one's going to ask us to find the population variance. If this data represented the population of all possible data values, we would say equals var dot p, open a parentheses, and then select the numbers. Equals var dot p for population, open a parentheses, and I select all my data. The population variance is 604.24. If we only have a sample, s instead of sigma, we'll do var dot s. So we'll say equals var dot s for sample, open a parentheses, and then select all our data. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and we end up with the sample variance, which is always slightly larger than a population variance. If we wanted the standard deviation, we can do that one of two ways. If we already have the variance, I can just take the square root and say equals the sqrt, open a parentheses, of the population variance, and hit enter. Normally, we don't have the variance first, though, and we're just finding the standard deviation of, in this case, the population. I can do that with equals stdev for standard deviation, dot p for population, open a parentheses, and then select our data. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and you see it gives us the exact same value. If we have a sample, we can do the exact same thing. We're just going to use dot s instead of the dot p. Or I could take the square root of the sample variance. Either way would work. I'm going to type in equals stdev dot s for sample standard deviation, open a parentheses, and then select all of my data close the parentheses and hit enter, and I've got my sample standard deviation. Again, it's really important in these problems that we differentiate between the population and the sample. The population sigma assumes we have every single data value possible. Sample s, we're assuming we've got a small sample taken from the entire population. So you want to make sure that you're answering the correct question and using the correct command as you answer these problems.